Uh, well, the idea today, I love doing stuff like this. I do it with kids from, I have three kids, so school kids and parents will come or there'll be actual field trips and stuff like that. And I think it's more enjoyable to sort of get to work rather than have some old guy lecture for 45 minutes. So I, you know, probably a little introduction of just who I am and why they're here. Um, and then share some books that I brought of uh, artists that inspire me and that might be nice tools to get you know, their ideas going. Uh, samples of, of my work if they want to try to do something that I normally do, and that way I could really help them. Uh, and then I brought a lot of canvases that are really simple drawings, sort of like a coloring book. Hmm. So that at least somebody's not sitting there going, what am I going to paint? That's what most kids say. Well, I don't know what to paint. Well, you know, they have something. And then I'd like to just walk around instead of, you know, chatting forever and just, you know, help people think about how they can create a living. I would like to think it's not too dissimilar from how I feel when I work. It's a great escape, you know, and I can only imagine, you know, what they are going through. And, and um, I, my hope is that doing something that's, you know, positive and refreshing and imaginative and, and fun, if at a minimum, just provides a little escape from everything else that um, they're having to think about it. I mean, it is my career, so there is a part of it, it's my job, <laughs> as weird as that sounds. Uh, and, you know, and oftentimes I'm dealing with you know, the, kind of the business side of that, talking to dealers. And, but when I'm, when I'm in front of the easel, so to speak, and, and painting, and the music's on, I drift away just as much as I did, you know, when I was young. It's a nice um, place of refuge. This whole area down here is, you know, it's changing so much, and it's nice that there's a, a new sort of footprint in San Francisco for for artists and, and dealers, because there's been so much change, um, you know, in the last probably 10 years of the way the dynamic of the city is changing and how it supports artists, particularly younger artists and maybe more of experimental galleries that wouldn't be able to sell enough work to justify paying a million dollars a month in Union Square. So it's, it's nice. Well, there's a, there's a theme, I mean, I largely paint water as a subject matter, not always, but that's sort of, you know, what I, I guess uh, uh, most people know, know me for. And the struggle was, for my work, it's quite large, it's, you know, the size of some of these partitions, and they're oil paintings, and they can take a month to make. So I was like, wait, well, we're never, we're never not going to move in together for a month. So I also do some work that's uh, a little more graphically oriented, um, a little, you know, simpler, uh, almost uh, pop, pop arty, if you will. And so I just pre-drew some of those so that somebody could start something today and finish it and take it home. And it more or less is what, what I do. love working with kids and I also love working with um, sort of mentoring artists. There's a lot of artists that come by the studio and it's fun to exchange ideas and, and help where I can. Because when I was um, you know, sort of starting out, I didn't have that. You know, it was just 30 years ago, there wasn't the internet. And I didn't have access to other artists to, to mentor under and ask questions, so it's sort of my way of kind of 
came even down to what I kind of what I wish I had. I'll be sort of learning with everybody today too. Because uh, the oils are a lot of chemicals, a lot of off gassing, and they're really messy. You know, acrylic's pretty, you know, pretty easy. But uh, it'll be interesting to see if we can achieve what I would try in my mind with oil with this. So, yeah.